Hey there, it's me again with a, well, depending on how quickly I upload these today, a double upload special. But um, I wanted to, to talk about why I don't stand for the, uh, it's not called the Pledge of Allegiance. What's it called? The Star Spangled Banner? The National Anthem? <clears throat> but uh, the reason why I'm not standing for that anymore, especially like all these sporting events, is for one, America has betrayed us. The American government has betrayed us. Uh, it, that's just what it is. And for two, <clears throat> um, it's freaking insane. I'm just going to call it like it is. And I'll explain my second point and then explain my first point. Because the second point is something I think we all kind of don't think about more than the first. But it is insane how before every single sporting event, um, yeah, basically before every, because I work in sports broadcasting, but before every single sporting event, we have to say the Star Spangled Banner. I don't understand why that's a thing. Well, actually I do. It's because it's indoctrination. See, sports really has nothing to do with America beyond making America money. Uh, and it generates a lot of taxes from us that, for some reason, don't go into building, like, half the sports stadiums that are really popular. And, no, actually, no, no, they do. Not that they don't. They definitely do. Excuse me. It's the, it's the, it's the private money that doesn't build most of the stuff. It's, always, it's usually the tax money. Unless you're in, you would don't. But, um... <clears throat> We, we say that or we, we do the Star Spangled Banner before every uh, every game, every competition. Like I was at a cheer competition and at the start of every day we did that. And my whole thing with that is, is that it's not going to really like I just again, I just don't see the point. If we're here to play basketball if we're here to play football, if we're here to do fucking kickflips, I don't care about. Uh, talking about the home of the brave and stuff like that. I, I don't care about that. That doesn't do anything for me. That has nothing to do with what we're doing. You know, why do we have to keep singing this and holding our hands to our chest here and everything like that? Most of the people that were around that were really like that, they're, I mean, not most, they're all dead. You know, we don't even live in the same kind of country anymore. See, these people, you know how you say the Pledge of Allegiance in school and say one nation under God? And it's the Christian God, quote unquote, even though we know it's not Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem. We say one nation under God, but you can't have transvestites in a nation under God. You can't have homosexuals in a, nature, uh, a nation under God. Uh, you can't have a court system that may or may not let you get away with offing somebody because of the color of your skin. That, that doesn't happen under one nation under God. And the Star Spangled Banner before every like major like event, like ma every major sporting event, you know, it's just it's 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 created to kind of drone your brain into basic Americanism, to make you think that this country is better than what it really is. And when they say the home of the free and the land of the brave, I I mix that up on purpose because I don't give a damn anymore. A lot of people, mostly from what I've heard, they stand up for it, mostly in respect towards our veterans. And see, that's the other way to get you too, because <coughs> they know that it's a bit too obvious that this government sucks. So you're like, I do it for the veterans. I stand up for them. You know, it's respect towards them. You're not respecting them because if you let this country railroad your ass, then whatever they're doing to quote unquote protect your freedom, they're they're getting betrayed even more than what you are because they're out there risking their life. For, quite frankly, nothing that affects you. Actually, they're risking their life just for your life to be at risk. Because this country is making it so that you're poor, you have unhealthy food, you have bad education, and you live in bad, uh, bad neighborhoods that don't have access. I mean, we have food deserts. You know what a food desert is? It's basically in a certain neighborhood of a certain kinds of people, mostly black quote-unquote black you know there is a noticeable lack of grocery stores so for example let's say you have this area 
and there's like Whole Foods and like Walmart. Imagine if Whole Foods and Walmart leaves and the only thing you're left with is like a Dollar General every 15 miles. It's like what a food desert is. Now people are more severely impacted by the kind of, you know, by being able to shop for food. And then that's how you end up with baby mamas raising your children on off of Takis and Doritos and uh, freaking cheese sandwich bread, honey buns and Mountain Dew. Black people don't really drink Mountain Dew, but I, I had to come up with a soda or something. So they make you constantly say it at all these sporting events because they also know that when you go to an NBA game, NFL game, and a competition, this is the most excited that you usually are to be in life, whether it's for yourself competing or for people you like to see compete. These are the most exciting times, really, that people have, like these NBA playoffs, for example. Very exciting time for a lot of people. So when you get hype, you know, you say this right before you get hype. You start to understand it's kind of a spell. That's because that's why a lot of people think America is great. It's because of our entertainment. So they use entertainment. Because think about it. Why do they always do this before a sporting competition, but not before uh, you watch a movie in a movie theater? <coughs> or not before even a concert? It's crazy, right? If you go to these arenas, before the game is played, the star spangled banner of his son. Before the concert is played, you guys are all just BSing and probably trying to get late. You know, so that's like my first, uh, technically second option, but my real reason though, my main over the ulterior reason is just the simply fact that I can't stand for the flag of a government because you know, honestly, the United States is of the government, not of the people. I can't stand for a government that just doesn't care about me. You got to think, man. How come uh, Ukraine is a national emergency? How come Israel is a national emergency, but the housing crisis isn't an emergency? How come they only gave us $1,200 during the uh, pandemic, but they didn't, you know, try to adapt any laws or try to use funding for proper spending on proper infrastructure building? <laughs> and I don't just mean throwing up apartments because throwing up, a, like, as we know, throwing up apartments does not actually relieve people of being cost burdened. It may, all it does is allow more people with more money to move in to your city and drive up the rents. Okay. Because if these apartments are being built, but they're not being built with lower rents and the rent is either the same or higher it just keeps going higher. And all you keep doing is attracting people with the money that makes it so the people with money without. You actually have to build housing in a way that keeps it cheaper. Doesn't mean going back to a thousand dollar one bedrooms, but like, damn it, at the least, we need multiple apartments from multiple companies that can at least make it 1,200 in areas where they're usually 1,500. You know, that's just, well, actually, that's not too far out. Basically, yeah, make it cheaper. I don't know, man. I'm not no economist. I'm still doing this YouTube thing, trying to get it going. But I think that's one of the biggest, um, the biggest dilemmas that we face in this country. And there's also the dilemma of crime, um, the drug epidemic as well. Because, you know, it's funny. The trolls online love to talk about how black people are violent and how we commit like what, 50% of the murders, only 12% of the population, right, quote unquote. But do they not understand that you're not affected by that? So honestly, you don't even really have to give a shit about that stat because <coughs> when black people commit violent crimes, they commit them majorly towards each other, not towards people of other races. But in the white community, quote unquote, you guys kill yourselves more than we kill each other by a wide margin um because guess what we don't have a, a black violence epidemic but what we do have is an opioid epidemic and it's not even opioids we probably we actually probably have a methamphetamine epidemic out as well but there is a drug epidemic going on with the greater community of white people it affects everyone else too but you guys are the main purveyors 
of drugs in this country. And there's also a suicide, uh, there's also a, a self offing epidemic going on as well. You know, but this is for the trolls because any person with a good heart understands that shit is hard on both sides and there's no point in trying to divide everything. But, you know, this country, our government, they act like that stuff's not going on. And it's like, the longer you guys, you guys keep trying to build this, you t- see what they think is going to happen is that we're all going to be pressed down so low, we will do anything they say for crumbs and take a mark of the beast. They don't understand that all they're going to keep doing is killing us. And then they're going to back us up into a wall where we may have no choice but a civil war, but to blow them up. And it will constantly happen because some, again, some people in government want there to be a civil war. Like that's because think about it. When civil wars happen, it's always people on the inside. It's always double agents. Trust me. No Captain America. I'm being for real. They want that to happen, but they do not understand that all they're insane. They just keep doing the same kind of rule over and over again. Because this side is like, we know how to do freedom. The other side is like, no, we know how to do freedom. This side is like, we know how to do freedom. That's all they keep trying to do is perpetuate freedom. <coughs> but God damn it, we've been free. I mean, quote unquote, not really, but we've had general freedom for how long and look how people's lives are turned out you know I'm, I'm sitting outside in this field surrounded by these apartments where there are literally too many rooms and residents for like five building managers to really manage like honestly some of these places where it's like several hundred building rooms right you need you probably need like 20 people and probably a person on each floor to really manage anything properly. But, hey, they're going to charge you a high price. And the gate's going to still be open to get in the garage. And people are going to still come through and steal your stuff. Government don't care about that. You know, people under the bridge, sleeping with their boxers out, pooping everywhere, peeing everywhere. Got nothing to live for. Government don't care about that. We need to worry about Israel. We need to worry about Ukraine, the Florida, Florida governor, Mike DeSantis, whoever. We need to worry about them <coughs> bringing gay things into our books and yada, yada, yada. It's like, nigga, your kids don't even go to school with the rest of these kids. You don't know how, you don't know these kids. You don't know public education, whatever. I can't vibe with a government like that. And I'm going to end it off with, with this, man. I, I need you to think because we need to understand how these, how wordplay is used against us to create the cursive spelling. Cursive spell. Curse says and spells. We're called the United States, right? And united means we're together. And states, I gotta look up what the word state even means. Because it's funny, like what, what does state mean? And why is state spelled the same way as state like a statement? Or when I'm trying to say something. It's almost like it's called the the United Statement. Oh, Maybe that's what it really means. Anyways, how are we really a United State if all of our states have borders? Like, like to me, like, I understand we can have regions and prefectures and, you know, geographically, things can be divvied up. But why are we, why are we separating ourselves just based off of, well, this is Florida. This ain't like the prefecture of Florida. Florida is its own state. And we get to decide our own laws. Like, how come income tax, you can you don't get income tax in Texas and Florida, but you do in California and New York? You, you, you see where I'm going here? Like, we, we claim to be the United States, but <coughs> all the states have different rules and different layouts and just different operations than what we're supposed to have nationally. Now do you see why we are always divided? Because everyone from everywhere is on a whole different program living a different life. You know, like, we shouldn't even be called the United States of America. You know, (coughs) that's crazy to me because that don't even sound like a country. Like, why are we just not called freaking America? I mean, like, 
like think about it like we don't even have a real name because america is like you know north and south america it's a continental region basically but we call ourselves the united states fucking canada is called canada mexico is called mexico and then all the countries in central america right i mean not central america well yeah central and south america right they actually have names we are called the united we're basically called the united if we were united why do we have a two-party system why do we have a party system how can you be united with two parties that means there's a division in the government the government has three sects what was it um the judicial branch the executive branch i forgot the third branch but i know we got three branches but again if you got three branches of government and they all have and one branch does something the other branch can veto the other how is that united there should only be one government and there should be one branch and it should all operate in unison there should we shouldn't even have states we should have something like prefectures <coughs> damn based on geography and stuff i can't it, I, like the lies we've been given to by this government they just don't do shit for us it gets harder and harder to live and we all and, and they just want us they, they like we supposed to figure it out it's like like bro you can't even just earn more money anymore because now you have to earn triple what a person in the past would have just had to earn one and a half times to beat inflation because yeah you can make more money but it, the inflation will basically because real inflation is probably close to like 15 20 percent because of how high prices have jumped you you damn near gotta earn 20 percent on top of 30 percent more to really beat inflation because trust me i've been trying i've been getting paid out the ass man i've been getting paid and with the kind of jobs i do i don't even have to work that long you know and I, i've been getting i've been making boku bucks and i can't keep it and i gotta make a change about that but um i've been speaking for a while too long Hopefully that made some kind of sense. See you guys later.